Hey, how's it going everyone? Uh, just make a little video here of this uh, Chromebook that I'm working on. Um, so it is uh, locked with a school account on it and um, I tried to uh, boot off of a USB and um, I was able to wipe it but yeah as soon as you connect it um, it pops back up. So uh, I went ahead and went on Amazon and for 20 bucks got this tool. This is the uh, CH341. We can see that, but yes, it's CH341A. So this is a, a flashing tool. So we have the motherboard off right here. We have our power cord right here. And we have it hooked up. I don't have the power cord hooked up yet, but um, it is already reading the chip. A windbound and it says found one chip and before a while ago I didn't have the connector on there right so it was giving me an error but now it actually shows it so yeah so now we're gonna move on to our, our next process uh, trying to flash this and um, see, see if we can get it back working again uh, so I have the ROM Here from Mr. Mr. Chrome Box, so that's the one we're going to be flashing to it. Uh, so I'm going to just go back and forth to my video, and um, I will come back once. Um, see if I get this thing flashed. All right, so here we um, clicked on, uh, we selected our chip, and then we went to read chip. And at so I'm actually following um, this guy's video uh, drowsy tech so yeah hacking Chromebook remove enterprise enrollment brick developer mode disabled and Windows so yeah I couldn't get into developer mode it was uh, disabled um, so that was even after I reset it with the um, the Chrome utility. I downloaded the the correct uh, flash for it, and off a USB stick reinstalled, and it still um, still popped up lock. So um, yeah, I can't get into developer mode. So that's the reason why I bought this um, little flashing tool. Uh, this is my first time doing this, so I'm trying to learn back and forth as I go. That's how I've gotten through most of everything I've learned. It's just YouTube back and forth, trying and step by step. So yeah, but that is the tool right there. And this will work for MacBook EFIs too, so that's why I wanna learn this really really good so I can do some MacBooks too. But uh, we'll come back here when I get to the next step. All right, so after it um, did its little checking here, then we're gonna go to um, save. We're gonna save it as backup. sure where that saved that uh, let's see maybe it's in here oh it's probably gonna save till the tool to the tool folder new programmer probably dump back up yep all right so we have our backup saved So the next thing is, is we're going to um, look for our, uh, hold on, let me find out if I'm supposed to be hooked up with power here, but well, I think I am, so I'll come right back, hold on. Alright, we're back, so yeah, it looks like, no, I don't need to have this uh, power going to it, he didn't have power going to his, so. Um, Okay, we're gonna open our existing folder now. The one that's on our desktop. Uh, let's see here. Let's 
go to all folders, all files, and there's our Mr. Chrome box. So, all right, so I guess we go to this one here, right? IC. We're gonna write to the IC now. Let's cross our fingers. Start programming. Programming in memory. We're getting a little progress bar. So yeah, right here we're uh, what we're doing is we're flashing a Chromebook that was uh, enterprise locked with the school. And um, yeah, I ordered this um, tool here on Amazon for twenty dollars. And just a simple tutorial that I'm following by Drowsy Tech. Few things you can replace that you erase and install the chip. Okay, so then I'll come back over here. And hopefully we'll flash this. So I'll come back um, once this process finishes and we'll see what the verdict is on that. So it uh, finished up here, it tells us uh, success. So we're gonna go ahead and um, uh, install the uh, main board back in the, uh, in the Chromebook and I will come back and see if we get to a desktop. All right, I'm back with this Chromebook. So after uh, pulling the board out for a second time, I flashed it again. I had to have this um, uh, 1.8 adapter board on there. So after I put that and reflashed it, it worked out. So now we got the screen that's got the little rabbit on it. And we're able to select, now we got the grub menu. So we're gonna probably install um, Chrome OS Flex. So that's, uh, I'm downloading that image right now. Uh, first I'm going to try the, the stock recovery image, but if that don't work then I'm going to use the uh, Chrome OS Flex. And yeah, so hopefully the school account is off of here already. This is a totally different uh, boot core and we're able to accomplish that using this uh, $20 tool that clips onto the uh, BIOS chip and you use Neo Programmer to read it and flash the core boot. Uh, let me see if I get an operating system installed here and I will be back. Hey everyone, how's it going? So we're back with the uh, Chromebook. So uh, yeah, I finally, um, I, I decided to uh, just go ahead and install the uh, new version of Linux. I think it's a Linux Mint, no, Linux, I think it's a Linux Mint. Uh, we'll check it out right now. Um, Y'all gonna stick with me here, we're gonna boot it up. So this was locked from the school from a school and I had to flash it with the um, programmer so it's booting Linux already right there um, the first distro of Linux I put on there I couldn't get sound working and this one I put it on there uh, perfect so yeah this is uh here you go linux mint 21.20 i mean 21.1 linux mint cinnamon so let's uh we're gonna connect to our wi-fi here wi-fi is working just go here to our Wi-Fi. Let's open up uh, Firefox browser. And we already had YouTube open there. 
rocking chair would look great in our new house. Oh, a new house, eh? Well, you should definitely see how Geico can help you save on homeowners insurance. Nice tip. I'll give you two bucks for the chair. Two? <laughs> That's a Victorian antique. Victorian antique. Geico. Hi, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining us. Just turn that down. Let's see if full screen works. Full screen's working. Runs pretty, pretty snappy. So yeah, this is uh, was your standard Chromebook, HP Chromebook, um, G H HP Chromebook 11 G7 EE. So log back in there. Got all our applications here. Like I said, it's running pretty snappy. And um, yeah, just wanted to share that. We were able to accomplish this by using the uh, programmer flasher. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe.